hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So probably the best and cutest car I'll ever drive here at the Autofocus Test Day Festival is unexpectedly this 2023 BAW Pony L. This is the base model of the Pony lineup here in the Philippines. Yes, as you can see from the exterior, this is literally like a jet or ice cream. So this is the biggest surprise for me. The price of this, excuse me, for this Pony S costs 598,000 pesos. That's literally 100,000 pesos less than that of the Jitter ice cream. If you want the top of the line variant of this, the Pony L, this, that will cost 678,000 pesos. Which is even cheaper than the Jitter ice cream. What the heck? So, what do you get now with this BAW uh, Pony? So, this one's powered, this base model by the way, by a 9.6 kilowatt hour battery that produces 17 horsepower. So the main difference is you can tell from the interior between both ponies that I really love the name is the instrument cluster and the infotainment system. These are only both at 7 inches. If you get the top of the line mode and there are the full screen, the 10.25 inch. Right, first impressions immediately. I realized with the center stuff, like it's there's there's literally nothing. You only have a manual handbrake and your rotary switch for your gear selector. And what does here in the interior? I love the color. It color matches the exterior. And if you can see the pattern, there's like carbon fiber effect on it. And then here, if you're going out of a junction, accelerate. Oh, it's pretty decent. All right. What is the max top speed of this, sir? 100 Oh, 100 km per hour, so making this highway legal NVH, okay, I can forgive it because it's an economy electric car And then the handling wise, I mean the steering wheel is a steering wheel There's no, what, gimmicks here and there But I don't mind it whatsoever, the steering wheel is pretty good You know, I know it's very light but it's very direct To be honest, it feels like a go-kart because the body of it is so light I mean look, I just weave left to right Okay, it responds to my command immediately. And what else? So, here's a few more snippets from the infotainment system. It does look like something coming out of an Android phone. And then the instrument cluster. A, there is a lot of info here. So, it is pretty good too. So, we have actually 45 kilometers of range left. So, for this Pony S, the base model, this total range is at only at 120 kilometers. Which I don't think is too bad given the price point of this. And if you're just driving mainly around in the city, this one is perfect and then for the Pony S literally the same power figure like with the Jeter ice cream it has the same range to at 170 kilometers which isn't too bad at all so for the price point this Pony S is actually a steal I have to say so as well charging times from 0 to 100 percent it will take four hours so only at the 220 volt socket but at least you can plug it anywhere still surprised that this has a sport mode we'll, we'll try that out in a bit you can hear a little bit of an electric Electric wine too, lower down the aircon, so we can hear a little bit more of, of the NVH. So the seats here as well color matches the exterior color. This as well is a four seater. I'm surprised that I can literally fit in the back too. My knee and feet room is all right, but my headroom surprisingly is pretty good. I'm five four by the way. Like my complaint with the jitter ice cream never posted sadly. The boot space you can literally fit like what few soft bags only there. As you can see from the back too, that's only the what the charging cable. So going back to the instrument cluster as you can see there's an eco bot uh, there's an eco mode sport mode and then there's a little bit more of what the tire pressure but it's in kilopascals i don't like that so i wish you can change it here to to psi rather than kilopascals because it might be a little bit hard to read as well these have the cutest pedals i've ever seen like for braking you press minus and then for accelerating you press plus that's the best thing i've ever seen so here in the door still have the greenish carbon fiber effect again here your window switches and then you have your light controls just below here that's literally it so we have 37 percent of battery left and 44 kilometers of range left so actually you can see i just saw the kilowatt hour on the left side of the instrument cluster too going back here in the interior there's a cubby space here literally perfect for a phone there is no glove box but you have net storage that's pretty much it let's try sport mode <laughs> i can't wait to floor this thing brakes are a little bit mushy but I don't mind it I mean it stops in time because it's a very light car anyway wow okay the, okay it's sport mode I see why people were laughing at this and the handling there's body lean surprising for a small thing yeah I don't mind it 
then overtaking won't be an issue in the city. Wee. Oh, okay, it's so surprisingly peppy. I know it doesn't have the most powerful torque figures of any electric car, but, but, since it's a very, very light car, I think, I think even less than 700 kilograms, this will suit the build for city driving, like here in around Moa only. So I find this hilarious. Even though this is an electric car, you have to turn this on like a conventional gasoline powered vehicle. Going back to the steering wheel again, this is a weird thing. There's no tilt and telescopic, so you're basically driving like a truck driver. I mean, I don't have, I don't mind it. The thing is, is the pedal placement. Like it's offset so much on the left. I mean, I mean, I don't mind it, even though this is just a small car, but it's a little bit of a nitpick when it comes to me. And then here's sport standstill. Oh, we can hear the motor. We. There's only like one mode, but at least there is. Ah yeah, so even though I left lift off the throttle, it's slowing down. Not by much, but at least it slows down. And then this listen to the horn. Oh it's loud. It's loud. It's loud for a small car, that's hilarious. So another major difference between this Pony S base variant and the Pony L top of the line variant is the camera system. So for this base model, you only get a reverse camera. I don't mind the quality because it's a small car, but if you get the top of the line Pony L1, it will be equipped with 360 degree camera, which is actually hilarious. Visibility all around, no issue. I mean, you can see everything, the, all the windows are big. Then you turn test. Okay, one of the easiest I've ever U-turned. <laughs> Yeah, for city diving again, it's perfect. But if you go to higher speeds, yeah, it will take a while to reach what 70 kilometers per hour, 60 kilometers per hour, no issue. So, my card got full, just literally finished the test drive of this BAW Pony S base model. So, I'm really surprised with this car, and I hope this we see more of this on the roads too, along with its competitor because this disturbs a space in our market for of course our diving conditions in the Philippines is not that very good as well I gotta say to underrated the aircon it's really really cool of course it's only a small cabin but anyway so that concludes my review of this Pony S hope you guys like and subscribe and I will see you with more hopefully more cars like this on my channel bye bye